Hi, I'm Will Lord. Last week, last week I made you a, made a longbow out of a piece of you, just to demonstrate how quickly a bow could be made and uh, used. So I've brought that same bow back, but this week what I've done is I've put together a few arrows, and all of them have got unusual fletching styles. This one's got none at all. This one's got two fletches just pinned together and attached at both ends. This one is only attached at the front and this one is a, a kind of a plumage so they have been placed with the, inter, the outside of the feather in towards the arrow so they buckle outwards. So the idea is I just thought it'd be fun to shoot them all off into the sky so we can see what sort of flight paths they take. We'll start off with the one that I know and trust, which is this one. These have all got flint heads on. I may or may not get them back. Because when you fire an ancient arrow, pretty much you give it up. So that was a lovely that was a lovely flight path from that arrow, that arrow. This one's the plumage. That one dropped short, so that must have had quite a bit of drag on it. And at the front end of its flight, it sort of kicked a bit, but once it got going, it flew well. This one should be quite interesting because we have no we have no flexions on this. completely changed direction. So the um, arrow itself decided that, that that flew straight for a good 50 foot and then just completely moved out. I'm not expecting this one to fly too well because it's only attached at one end. Yeah, the figure eight on the back end of the arrow and a bit of a shortened drop. See what happens. Well, I think that's a pretty serious level of penetration gun on there. Let's see. That's stuck in there solid. I think something tells me that there's something in there that tight I can't shift it <laughs> I think that's a killer Thanks for watching